Hey, don't wait till it's too late. Please, you know it is written that there's a place called hell, and I heard it was hot down there. I'm so cool on that. So please, don't wait until it's too late. Let us pray for our unsaved loved ones. Father God, we come to you in prayer that the eyes of our unsaved loved ones are open now. That they are open to the truth of God's word. And we call them out of darkness into the light. And we thank you, Father God, for causing them to receive the love and forgiveness that you have for them. Thank you, Lord, because it is through you. It is you who can release them from the bondage and the traps set by the enemy. Oh, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for sending the people into the path of our unsaved loved ones. People who will share the love of Jesus with them in ways that they cannot resist. I thank you. Thank you for causing our unsaved loved ones to surrender and to give themselves up to you. For you promised in your word to save us and our family and our household. In Jesus' name, we now command our unsaved loved ones to wake up now. Father God, cause them to drop and walk away from the works and deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. We pray and confess your perfect will into the lives of our unsaved loved ones. For it is your desire that they be saved and delivered and that they recognize you as the truth. I thank you, Father God, for showing them that you are the truth. You are the way and you are the light. Yes, it is only with God's help we can do great and mighty things. We are born of God. We are overcomers of the world. We are overcomers of our flesh. We are overcomers of the devil. And yes, we have victory now that overcomes this world. And oh Lord, how we so love you for that. You are our rock. You are our fortress. You are our deliverer. You are our God and our strength. And it is in you we trust. And we can come to you for anything. So we come to you now and we bind the spirit of deception off the lives of our unsaved loved ones. And we loose the light of God upon them in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, don't wait until it's too late. You know what? If I wasn't saved, I would get saved. Now. I said now. If I wasn't saved, I would get saved. If you're not sure or you know that you're not saved and you would like to be saved, say this prayer with me. Jesus, I come to you now just as I am. You know my life and you know how I live. Jesus, I believe in my heart that you are the son of God and that you died for my sins. And three days later, God raised you from the dead. Jesus, I receive you now as my Lord and personal Savior. I present my life back to you. I'm calling on you and asking you to come into my heart and live in me. I thank you for receiving me and loving me unconditionally and giving me this new life in Jesus' name. Amen. It's not about me. It is written that if you said this prayer, you are saved. Believe it. Just remember, it's not about religion. It's all about the relationship. 
Hey, hey, don't wait. Don't wait. Till it's too late. Till it's too late.